All right, so 400EX is red now. Um, that's pretty cool. I had a friend, uh, he had yellow, or he wanted some yellow plastics and he had some front ones off of his. And these are my, those other red ones I got a while back. So we traded, um, I'm about to adjust the valves on this thing. We traded seats too. Um, looks pretty good. But um, this video is more about why 400EX is the best damn four-wheeler ever made. There's no, you can't, can't change my mind. I love 250Rs, I love two strokes, but this really is the best four-wheeler ever made. Um, so that the, that other 400EX, the one that I traded plastics with, his is yellow now. Um, he bought it for 950 bucks. It ran everything, smoked a little. Um, the kid who owned it before him just beat the hell out of it. Never changed the oil. Just beat it up pretty bad. Um, yesterday or the day before, we put in a new carrier um, on his 400EX. It was worn out. It was, it was bad. Um, he needs to get a rotor because it was all tweaked and everything. Anyways, so we went ahead and did that. Um, I'll see if I have a picture of it. I'll throw it in. Um, anyways, we took his clutch cover off because his oil filter bolt um, was messed up. It rattled out or snapped off or something. Anyways, we pulled it off and um, we got that. We were messing with that. Couldn't really get it to work, right? The bolt never actually snapped off. It rattled out or something. So we threw the new bolt in, but it uh, it kept like the threads were messed up or something because you tighten it and it popped back out. So I went at it with a tap. It didn't fix it. But anyways, kind of rambling. There's if you if you've ever worked on a 400EX, um, you'll know that there's an oil screen right down at the bottom in the cases. Um, if you pull off this clutch cover and it's just there to catch any metal or anything and his when he would change the oil sometimes he'd get little metal shavings coming out so we decided to pull it and check it and it looked clean and everything it looked fine there was a little bit there was like a tiny piece or two but we looked further back in there and there were just shavings of metal tons and tons of shavings and uh we cleaned it all out but let me show you what we pulled out pulled out this chunk of metal right here and the rest of this and at first we thought it was part of the case or something but the case seemed fine from what we could tell and it's aluminum and then we were thinking maybe it's part of the piston because it's scored up it's kind of got a curve to it. It is bent though as well. And I've got an old piston from my 400EX when I rebuilt the top end on it. And we compared it. And I'll throw pictures up. But this matches perfectly with the skirt of the piston. And it that 400EX had a newer cylinder on it or something. It's been torn into. But it this matches per... <laughs> kind of an idiot. Matched perfectly with the skirt of the piston um and it just kind of surprised us because that engine ran it's still it's still running it runs fine like it doesn't knock it doesn't bog anything it's got a little hiccup at idle and this one does too i think it's this one's it's because of the cam in it it's got a stage three hawk cam his is as far as i know it's all bone stock but it has been torn into the, uh, the color of the cylinder was different. Like it was newer, like it just looked newer. It looked cleaner compared to everything else. But it just, what other four wheeler do you know of that breaks the skirt off the piston and is still running, not knocking anything? Like it's just, it blows me away. It, you know, it's all, but it's also a Honda. So Hondas, you know, they just work. But 
I just thought I'd make a little short video um, explaining why it's just the best four wheeler ever made. They're, you can you cannot change my mind. Um, yeah, they're just they're bulletproof. Holy fucking shit, dude! Dude, we should. Just... Mm. That's way better. That literally.